Yeah, this is uh, Hermann Lang in the 60s showing how the Norse life uh, circuit was while driving a 1937 Mercedes W125. Gives me an idea. Um, where do I have uh, such stuff? I think in R Factor, yes, because uh, I have it in a set of course, but uh, that feeling of uh, rubber tires not being made out of rubber and that um, physics model with the suspension, such old suspension, just imitated and not uh, very accurate. Uh, yes, I think I'm. Uh, Take a ride in the good of the R Factor. Unfortunately, I don't have it, didn't find it in R Factor 2, which would have been the best. But, um, let's see what kind of challenge was driving such a, an old beast or such a scary <laughs> track. Ah, uh, well, our factor may not be the ultimate uh, graphic level uh, of uh, sim racing, but uh, it's pretty good uh, and it's pretty realistic despite its age. So, uh, okay, from the shakes it gives, uh, it uh, already smells uh, as uh, almost undrivable. That's uh, really a crazy beast. <laughs> Yeah, the track uh, is uh, of the second half of the 60s, but uh, according to the video it's not uh, very very far from this, uh, the same situation uh, shown in that video. Okay, so this uh, <laughs> nice, uh, well I'll leave it the comments to you <laughs> about uh, aesthetics, uh, but is uh, unbelievable beast, uh, which uh, is almost... Uh, um, aircraft engine uh, uh, absolutely overpowered uh, stuck into something that is uh, <laughs> very old from the point of view of um, technology above all the technology of the suspensions uh, and the technology of the tires uh, I would say even the technology of the brakes <laughs> they were drum brakes for how big uh, they have uh, uh, quite big uh, limits uh, and but you can perceive the incredible speeds that uh, back in those years uh, I think I mean we're talking about 1937 uh, I don't know if <laughs> it makes sense uh, uh, what it means to have the power necessary uh, or I mean uh, the sufficient uh, for uh, rushing well over 300 kilometers per hour well here in the <laughs> Uh, launch a lap uh, uh, I'm I'm already doing crazy things uh, of course because this is uh, far very far from being easy to drive yeah uh, all the weight on the front wheels uh, uh, the traction on the rear wheels uh, as I mentioned the uh, quite primitive suspensions uh, very very easy and those tires so which were made uh, out of um, uh, terrible rubber they almost felt like uh, like wood <laughs> to make uh, to have an idea they were very prone to overheating while they oh, this is uh, a saving uh, yes a really saving um, they were prone to overheating yes uh, despite uh, their uh, where was uh, quite uh, limited uh, but uh, uh, as soon as uh, you overheat them uh, they lost uh, a lot of grip uh, and they started to to wear out uh, quicker so um, to sum things up uh, yeah to sum things up uh, the main uh, points were surviving <laughs> trying to keep uh, at least uh, the, the nose pointed in the right direction 
yeah, uh, this um, is to show the top speed achieved in this uh, uh, straight uh, while there is a, a small jump in the middle 260 270 kilometers per hour 280 and then I started breaking uh, because uh, after this um, bridge there is a, uh, a wide turn but it's on a crest so it would have been uh, sure death uh, facing it at uh, full speed okay so to go deeper into this kind of crazy driving of these crazy cars uh, why not jump on board uh, and showing a full lap uh, yes i know it's not gonna be uh, a short video because the track is very long but uh, i think it's interesting to get uh, into the the pants of herman lang uh, doing this, uh, that uh, turn uh, pardon that uh, very long lap but while he was uh, very prudent, uh, you know, we're in a simulator and uh, we want to feel that out, uh, out east to drive such a beast uh, closer to the limit. Okay, uh, the main, uh, th the first uh, feeling is uh, uh, be careful with brakes, brake early and uh, don't uh, keep them pushed down because uh, it's uh, very likely to lose the rear and uh, the the torque the torque is uh, insane i mean the 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 torque distribution along uh, the um, the rev counter uh, it's i, I don't want to say it's like a diesel engine but uh, uh, with in almost uh, all gears uh, you can lose uh, uh, rear traction so you will notice that uh, i will uh, drop the gear to the first very rarely because it's totally useless and here <laughs> it shows what it means to let the right foot escape for a while it's a sudden oversteering so uh, i think uh, we can say that we drive more with the the right foot than uh, with the steering wheel don't get me wrong the steering wheel is essential uh, essential and you have to keep uh, 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 working with it uh, because uh, even in uh, straights like this you can see the car keeps uh, shaking and weaving and here's the the famous jump uh, the Norge life circuit with the last uh, second saving yeah jumping landing roughly you can uh, appreciate how rough is the work of the suspensions now there is the other very fast uh, section, over 200 km per hour, 230, yes and then better be careful because you have to slow down and slowing down this mess with such terrible brakes, so it's far from being uh, easy, easy peasy. Yeah, I skip it. <laughs> I think uh, there were just uh, a few centimeters from that bridge. Again, another very fast section. With a wide uh, left, right, left, right. Uh, please note that uh, I don't love this track. I don't uh, uh, race so often on this. So it's uh, it's been like uh, yeah, let's discover it together with uh, this old pilot. Uh, of one century ago. Second gear, it's uh, very hard to keep the rear tires uh, uh, sticking to the, to the tarmac. And one other thing that is uh, very important, uh, it's, uh, you may notice uh, by the, the video, but if you don't, I will tell you. The overheating, especially of the rear tires, uh, you can see the um, indicators on the right are always on red, and when uh, the temperature crosses the 8 or 90 degrees uh, limit, uh, well, it's uh, the feeling is like uh, if the rear wheels are running on 
wet circuit when the front wheels are not. Um, given the enormous uh, brake engine effect, uh, it's very easy to lose the rear even uh, when coasting uh, if you are in a corner. So uh, keeping a, a comparatively high gearing uh, and being very careful with the throttle uh, is uh, really essential. Yeah, this looks like more a roller coaster than a, <laughs> a track, a Formula One track. Even though in 1937 you couldn't uh, really talk about uh, Formula One, but in the 60s. Uh, it's uh, this mode, uh, the, the mode of this track is uh, made for 65 or 67. Yes, it was a it was a point. Now, if I remember well, there is that series of left-handers where you can reach the 200 kilometers per hour limit. But uh, suddenly a left corner as a this one, yes, as a light uh, change of uh, pendency, so it's very tricky and risky. You could notice uh, I made it on a four wheel slide, and here big risk. Yeah, it keeps being saving, 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 saving all the time. <laughs> because the car waves left, right, left, right and uh, easily escapes from control just by pushing on the throttle pedal. Again drifting. One thing that is uh, lovely, I must say, of these cars, uh, apart of the <laughs> being so critical in uh, handling, uh, is uh, that uh, like uh, in the cars of the 50s and 60s uh, well this is a terrible way of facing the carousel uh, yeah bad entrance uh, wide exit and uh, hit uh, uh, a wall like uh, a wall hard uh, <laughs> series of bushes okay um, I was talking about uh, the kind of driving is that uh, the best uh, uh, best grip is achieved uh, with a, a mild uh, slide on the four wheels so um, provided the, the control of the car uh, is bearable <laughs> and uh, you've got uh, to work a lot to learn uh, uh, the characteristics without uh, getting killed at uh, almost every corner like this is trying to suicide but uh, fortunately I lost uh, enough speed uh, to not kill myself uh, and uh, gain uh, the racing line, but you notice the, the, the four-wheel slide, which is uh, satisfying because uh, it is uh, pretty elegant. Uh, it's not like the, the Tokyo Drift uh, with uh, extreme uh, sideways, but uh, just that, uh, that right amount that uh, gives uh, satisfaction. And you must handle it uh, very accurately with the throttle too much uh, uh, pushes into a spin mm, the right uh, amount uh, helps you sliding on the four wheels but uh, also induces some uh, risk again some understeering and too little in a high gearing uh, uh, produces even more understeering but in a low gearing uh, with the brake engine uh, will uh, make you spin so it's a very very complex uh, the, the management of the throttle but once you get the grip of it it's uh, absolutely satisfying and you have got to be very careful with the steering as well uh, you notice that it's more corrections than uh, uh, inputs uh, where to turn a left or right but uh, counter steering means uh, helping the rear wheels to increase uh, the slide, yes, because the, mm, the drift angle becomes critical if you uh, send the, the car in uh, uh, too big an um, 
a, a sideway. Okay, the little, the smallest carousel was better. Uh, so uh, sometimes it's better to force, yeah, <laughs> a little smoke coming out of tires in th second, I think, second year. That's unbelievable. Uh, but uh, I was talking about uh, oversteering and understeering. Uh, sometimes it's better to um, force uh, the 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 steering inside the the turn uh, in order to have more. Uh, side um, uh, slip angle pardon more slip angle on the front wheels uh, than uh, with the rear ones uh, and uh, keep the balance okay throwing ourselves uh, into ludicrous speeds on this straight uh, 270 but uh, if you don't jump in a straight line hell is gonna help break loose uh, I lost a lot of speed uh, just to save my life yeah you see it's uh, it's uh, jumping sideways with such things uh, with uh, rear tires always overheated because of uh, too much uh, power uh, unleashed on those tires uh, well that's absolutely crazy and uh, controlling again it seems to be hard to go straight <laughs> full throttle than <laughs> taking corners Okay, this is crazy, <laughs> absolutely. It's interesting uh, that uh, once you get the grip of it, uh, there is uh, some satisfaction. I think that cars of the 50s and 60s are the best from this point of view. Till the, I think, uh, half of the 70s, uh, and then uh, cars were changed uh, drastically in their, um, in their management, in the, in the way of driving. But if my it's a matter of personal taste here. Okay, I completed another lap without dying. And here, before leaving, uh, I'm picking at the beginning of the Sudeshi life. Uh, well, this is not uh, the topic of today's video. What else to say? Uh, I think this mode is... Uh, beautiful i think it's well done it gives uh, really the feeling of how hard it was uh, to manage uh, to save uh, own life in these cars so while on the top right uh, corner you can see probably fatal uh, crashes with uh, those cars uh, but uh, you know we are in a simulator so why not enjoying uh, and taking all the risks uh, we like thanks for watching thanks our factor Thanks for all the people who made uh, the beautiful modes uh, of uh, these cars uh, and uh, of the Nordisch Life. Hope to see you on trucks. Thanks again. Catch you next time.